Hey folks, it's John with KGTropicals.com. Starting things off today, wanting to show you this little tank that Lisa just set up. She threw some rocks in there and put a nice mixture of Mbunas in here. Uh, it's not really an Mbuna show tank. All of these fish are for sale. We've been selling a ton of Mbunas out of this tank because she did this. Mixing them all together. We've got OB zebras, we've got Demasonii, red zebras, snow whites, rusties, yellow labs, everything in here. And everybody wants fish out of that tank. Oh, I don't know. She did a good job on it. Kind of threw it together last minute the other day. Um, and it's working. It's working real good. Wanted to show you these guys because we've talked about them in a few videos. And, uh, and the time has finally come to make them available to you. These are our Lake Victorian, Punamilla Neri, Rudy Islands. Uh, they're finally, they're going up on the site. They're the, some of the bigger ones are about an inch and a half or so. There's a nice male right there. And uh, we've been raising them up. We got the breeding colony from our friend Chuck Green out in uh, Lynchburg, I think he said he lives. And uh, we've been breeding them. They've been breeding like crazy, and we're finally ready to go ahead and release some fry. But you see that, don't you? You know what that means. Yeah, it's time for our new shipment walkthrough. We got some new stuff this week that I'm really excited about, and one of them is these right here. They are the green Afra. Really, really cool. I'm really excited about these guys. Don't see them all that often. Uh, they're about two inches. Pretty easy to, to tell the males from the females. Real excited about them. We just got them in the tank, so they're not, you know, they're not behaving the best right now, but there's our OB. Albino zebras, I talk about them all the time. The Philoborni, OBOB Philoborni. Um, and, aren't they just adorable? We got a bunch of blueberries today. These things sell like crazy. We got them in there with the Snow Whites. That's a perfect seller right there. Snow Whites with the blueberries. They go so well together. <laughs> All right, I don't think we really got a whole lot more. Oh, we got some more of the OB OBs, or uh, albino OBs, little ones. Uh, they were actually a gap filler for us. Um, supplier needed to put another bag in the box, and so he put some OB albinos in there. Um, red cap lethronops, we talked about those briefly last time. It's the only thing in this aisle that's not an Imbuna, but it's the only place that we had a tank available. These are really cool. We've sold a few of them. Um, they're not in the best tank for selling them in the store, but um, but they've been selling on the website, so that's a good thing. Um, let's see, where did we, here we go. We got more of the white top Afras. And these guys are a good size, two and a half inches or so. Uh, those aren't going to last very long. People are always asking about those. Uh, CJ got some of those. I forget his whole name on YouTube, but... Uh, I know his name's CJ. He uh, ordered a bunch of those from us one time. Did an unboxing video for us. It was really cool. Some Johannes. Our favorites. The Red Top Hongis. We can't keep these things in the store. We're down to, I don't know, eight or so of them. But let's move on to where most of the action is. Um, not a whole lot has changed in this aisle except for the Strawberry Peacocks. If you're not familiar with them, look them up. Uh, they're really cool. These are unsexed. They're $11.99, uh, but we can pick out a male for you, like that guy right there. Uh, not showing the full color yet, but they will be. Give them a little time. We've still got our tomatoes. We still have holding females in here. And it's not that we didn't strip them. There's just more. <laughs> so if you want to breed tomatoes, I'm telling you, we got you. We got a bunch more zebra obliquidens, and we got some really nice males to show you on this video. What wasn't really able to do that last time. That red belly is just crazy. Those are big sellers. I love them. The uh, redfin piebald. Now I'm get, I've been getting a lot of questions about these because some people have confused them for OB peacocks. They're not OB peacocks. This is a Lake Victorian cichlid, folks. Uh, they do have a color pattern similar to OB peacocks. Um, they're just really neat. I mean, I, I really like these guys. This one got beat up, so we put them in here with the obliquidens. 
they're just really cool I mean they look different than than a lot of the stuff that you see uh, some super nice dragon bloods some of these guys are really nice looking look at that yep 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 all right I don't want to make this too long Venustus it looks like we didn't sell any no we got another dozen of them today because they sell so much this is where we had our big Taiwan reefs last time. I'm going to show you something we did different uh, this week. And uh, so this is all unsexed Taiwan reefs. But we do have some males that are in there for the unsexed price. Yeah, the unsexed price. Our Ethels. What are you talking about? Forget about it. Look at that guy. Really? Come on. I spend a lot of time on these guys in every video just because I love them so, so much. The Fireline Melotos, our good friend uh, Carlo Ligamari bought one of those last week. Really excited about that. Uh, this is our tank. This didn't change at all. The OBs and the Ali's, so I'm not going to show you a whole lot going on in there. But I don't think it's going to show up well on camera. But we got three of the most insane Regal Blues this week that I've ever seen. If the girls would get out of the way, these guys are crazy. Really, really showing a lot of red underneath uh, on their anal fin and stuff like that. They're just absolutely gorgeous. You want to breed them? We got you. We got you. The Lanai and the Dolphins, they were here last time. Uh, here is the breeding colony of the Nirari. Uh You guys have seen these plenty of times, so I'm not going to spend any time on them, but that's the, that's the colony that produced those fish we showed you in the very beginning. We got a bunch of big fire halves. Big! These are in D-Ways. Uh, they do take their time coloring up. Those are not all females. Uh, they just, you know, they take their sweet time coloring up. Still got the Sunshine Bengas, if you can even see them with the glare. Uh, a bunch of female German Reds up there. And the Angaras. This is our Angara tank. We put them in here every week because we've been getting some insane Angaras. They've been really hooking us up with top quality Angaras. I mean, these are show males here, folks. And the bicolors, they don't like being up top. But uh, yeah, what do you think of that? Now let's move over to the new section. Yeah, we cleared out some tanks and made room for more Africans. And you were wondering about the Taiwan Reefs. Well, there they are. We got four of them this time. Remember on last the last walkthrough I did, I said that those Taiwan Reefs weren't going to make it through the weekend? They didn't make it till Saturday night. They were gone. This right here, I know they're not showing up, and it's so disappointing. But this is a crazy batch of uh, Red Top Lawandas that we got. I know they're not showing up, but these are some absolutely gorgeous fish, folks. These males will just knock you out. And we got a couple of really holding females. I mean, when I say really, like, they've, they've probably got 50, 60 eggs in their mouth. I mean, look at them. They're, they can barely keep their mouth shut. So, yeah, those will be going in egg tumblers tomorrow. Uh, we got some more German Reds. We put them up top, which they don't like. So they're kind of hanging out at the bottom, but they're showing really, really nice color. Really red. I mean, it, it's making me look bad now, just hanging out at the bottom like that. But uh, these German reds are looking sweet. Trying to get you a good view of them. And we got something new this week. We got the Arista Christies. These guys are... I keep wanting to say sick, because that's one of the things I say all the time. But they're not sick. They're very healthy. Uh, these are really hard to find, and I'm really excited to get them. They're all unsexed. They're about three, three and a half inches. If you're not familiar with Christie's, you all know me well enough now to know that I like fish that are a little bit different than everything else, and Christie's are definitely that. It's almost like a Buco Noto mixed with a Fusco. I, I don't know. They're, they're just really neat, and, uh, and you don't see them all that often. And... Bam! <laughs> if that's not a batch of lemon jakes for you, if that's not a perfect shot of them, I don't know what is. 
I know that the camera's not picking them up all that well, but folks, these, these lemon jakes are like six inches. They're insane. And we got their little teeny brothers and sisters up here too. Where'd they go? Here they are. Unsexed lemon jakes. Yes, we do have some males in there. He wants to hang out right in the glare. There you go. There's a nice male for you at the unsexed price. Won't be for long, but he'll be there. And here's the Taiwan Reefs. I told you last time they wouldn't make it through the weekend, and we sold out of them Saturday night. And none of them sold in the store. It was all over the website. So thank you very much for that. I think Shane Schimmler is looking for these. Um, one of his buddies, he said something about his buddy holding a gun to his head and wanting to steal his that he got from me last week. I don't know. So uh, Shane, you know, let them know that uh, they're available. They don't have to hold that gun to your head. We got four more for you. So get on that website and order them up before somebody else does. This week we're doing 10% off when you spend over $100 or more on the website. So take advantage of that, folks. It's Christmas. Treat yourself. Get yourself some fish for Christmas. Everybody loves fish for Christmas. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next shipment.